We are, are we are here all together, and with more than ten years, or it's been already fifty years, Roby. How many years are you are freestyling now? I don't know. Maybe also, uh, I'm at least I'm a freestyle dinosaur. Mm. Yeah. Or maybe t <laughs> ten, yeah. ten or fifteen years. Yeah, also, and, and fall for, more for like you? a T Rex. Yeah, yeah I'm T Rex. Row T Rex. Sorry, twelve. Twelve years. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So we already talk a long time about different things that we popping in in our minds but what is the story we have it like the podcast is named freestyle stories but what is the story that you guys want to tell to the other guys in the freestyle football community maybe they haven't heard anything about it even better but what is maybe the story you want to talk about right now what's popping in your mind First guy who wants to say anything, just pick the mic. So many stories, I don't know where to start. Uh, Could be a funny story as well. It doesn't have to be ser serious. I think um, one of the things that I was lucky enough to experience through freestyle was that I was actually able to meet up with uh, Ronaldinho and see him live in person. and. Uh, he knows that freestylers started because of him and just talking to him about that was a yeah it, it was a huge uh, yeah mile, not milestone but a huge uh, a big experience in my life to just uh, be able to to exchange a few words with him and mm -hmm. that was a, a, a cool experience but what did what did you cool, exchange well. with him how <laughs> <laughs> Well, we, sp we spoke in French because he was um, mm -hmm. his English is not as good, mm -hmm. and since he was playing in uh, Paris Saint Germain, mm -hmm. uh, we were able to communicate in French. And yeah, I told him that um, I started freestyle because of his videos, and there's a lot of freestylers around the world mm -hmm. who start freestyle because of hi him. And then he said, yeah, that he's, he, he knows it and um, he's very grateful and very um, honored to be able to have that status uh, among this community. Because what he stands for as, as a footballer, he was always passionate, he's always laughing on the, on the field. Like he, it was a pure joy to just watch him. And it was just free, right? Just free. Free and on the field. He knows that we as, a free, as free self, we also try to yeah, just be free in our lifestyle and whatever we do. Awesome. Yeah. That's awesome, yeah. That was a cool experience. And I was able to eat sushi with him. <laughs> <laughs> sushi doing, uh, Sushi dingo. Sushi game. Sushi dingo. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay. What was the event? Maybe Where did you meet, uh, met him? It was um, a charity football game uh, in Manchester. Ah, in Manchester. Yeah. Okay. I was able, I was actually there to... Um, I'm not sure if you remember, but the, the federation, the Freestyle Federation, they at some point they had a, a, a application for iPhone that they wanted to bring out, mm -hmm. and Ronaldinho, as an ambassador for the Freestyle community, uh, yeah, I was I was actually there to make a small video of him using the app, but in the end, uh, because he's so busy and everybody wants to get get to him, it was impossible to um, yeah to record that clip that we actually went there to. Uh, to record um, because I was there with Dan Wood, uh, the, the former president of the, the federation, and uh, yeah, it was it was a fun experience. Nice, <laughs> nice. Brody, you were about to tell a story, I think. Uh, yeah, maybe I have uh, have something. Uh, yeah, kind of funny. You know, like when. Um, uh, 100% sure that the other guys had this question uh, once before. Uh, you're freestyling somewhere just outside and someone is uh, approaching you and says hey uh, wow can, can you also do this on the pitch and and then you're like uh, yeah yeah actually I could do this on the pitch but what they what the actual question is then if you are also a good football player that's what they mean so like when I was uh, younger uh, maybe I was 14 or 15 years old uh, I was uh, signed up for a, for a juggling uh, contest. It was the the how do you call this? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I don't know quotes. Be, be, quotes quotation marks. Quote, between quotation marks. <laughs> Thanks, bro. <laughs> between quotation marks, um, that was the Dutch Championship uh, juggling a uh, football, and um, so I, uh, I I participate. And um, but in the same year, 
I also wanted to uh, uh, switch from a football club. First, I played very low level. Still re respect to uh, all my uh, teammates, though. But um, <laughs> I uh, I switched from club. But uh, so I but I um, uh, I participate in the juggling contest, and I become second. And I was happy, you know, because I was uh, maybe 14 or 15, and the other guy was uh, was uh, 17, and I felt like oh. It felt like I won, you know, because I was uh, much younger and I felt so happy, you know. And I thought, oh, I'm special, I'm special. Wow, wow. But uh, then I also uh, won. Um, uh, I, I could train with uh, the, the youth uh, team, uh, like a young uh, Ajax, you know. So um, I practiced with, uh, with, uh, with them a little bit, but it was just a rondo, you know. You, you just uh, juggle with them and do some tricks. And I felt like... I felt incredible. I felt I felt like Ronaldinho, you know, at that moment. But then, uh, you, you know, I, I I knew that I was good at, uh, at, uh, at tricks and juggling, so I was happy. After that, I come home. I'm so excited about it. Then I go to uh, the other football club. Uh, I had to cycle every every training session, every. Uh, Every uh, match day, I have to travel like a uh, cycle on my bike, like 10 kilometers. Uh, I, I'm coming there first, tra first training session, eh? midsummer, 46 degrees or something. <laughs> okay, I'm, I'm there. I say, yeah, the, the trainer t told everyone, hey, uh, this guy, he's new, is uh, Rodi Heinen, and he, and, uh, and, uh, he just went uh, to the Dutch uh, Championships uh, juggling a football, and he becomes second. Can I have a round of applause? Everybody happy? Hey, they think, oh, that's sick. This guy is sick. Then we start. I, I thought, like, okay, I'm gonna kill this over here. So training session start, but nobody knew. I could only get past the defender or like juggle a ball. I can do tricks, but I couldn't pass the ball over like 10 meters. I couldn't like uh, like the, the the ball was coming. I cannot I cannot stop the ball or like I was just rubbish. <laughs> so the trainer was like, "Okay, Rodi, but if you can if you can juggle the ball three, four, five thousand times, probably you can shape you in some way that you can be good at the end of this year for this team." But in that moment, I was never so tired at the end of a training session. As that day, oh my God, I was just <laughs> done, <laughs> done, and um, uh, yeah, th for me that was a very clear moment that I knew. Okay, freestyle football is a total different thing than <laughs> fo <laughs> football on the pitch. You know, that's for sure. <laughs> so yeah, there's a nice cool story, story to to share with all the people or freestyle that get that question. Yeah, just just <laughs> ask just just ask Rody. Yeah, yeah, just ask Rody, or we have the voice memo here for you. Yeah. Just listen Zip. to the story. <laughs> yes, Paul, your story. What yeah, is yeah. the story? What's popping on? Yeah, yeah, I have right a story. <coughs> it's um, back in the days in 2008. I was doing freestyle for w just one year, and at that time there was no Facebook. There was no. I think it was just the beginning of YouTube. Uh, there was no so real social media except some blogs like MySpace or in France there was something called Skyrock Skyblog and then it's, it's a blog and then I had my own blog everybody every teenager has in own blog and then it's a bit like social media now so you can you have some likes some comments some private message but then uh, I was doing this posting some just some videos of me uh, doing freestyle just basic after one year was nothing crazy you know uh, and then one day I receive a message on a uh, messenger. It's uh, a friend of me, a freestyler. Free he told me, uh, "Oh, you are on the block star." It means uh, every week the first page of France of this uh, uh, website puts in the, on the front page during one week uh, three blogs. And one day I was selected to be one of them. It means what? It means uh, like 100,000 people could see me like during one week. Wow. at the front page like the when the home page yeah and then i receive maybe 50,000 likes uh 5,000 comments in just one or two days you know 
like private message, like 2,000 private message, like yeah, crazy, something impossible crazy. Impossible to reply to all of them. Uh, something crazy. I could feel what is it to be a, a huge influencer, you know? Mm -hmm. And then I f it's really crazy. Like every every time I was refreshing the page, I had like three new messages, five new comments, something crazy. So I tried to really answer. There was some people getting angry, like, ah, you don't answer, you are you're like a star, you are too uh, arrogant or something. I just cannot, you know. And something really too crazy. Too, too many people asked me, can you share this? Can you share this? Because I see I was kind, kind of famous, you know, at that time. And then I, it was crazy, crazy. Yeah, I can imagine. <laughs> <laughs> and this just and that only after one year of, uh, yeah. after, of freestyle. And, and then I realized, you know, the video, I was posting was nothing crazy. Some people were much better, but it's just about the visibility. If people can see it, they like it. Mm -hmm. And people, many people, many, many people ask me, oh, it's so good. Uh, maybe you can do some partnership together, do some show, something like this. I got many uh, opportunities of uh, work, of promotion, of video, of girls. So <laughs> <laughs> I'm not supposed to say that. also how you <laughs> met your girlfriend and you're married now. <laughs> And that's not my children is the way I met your mother. <laughs> that's how I met my mother. <laughs> your mother. <laughs> oh, and shit. then, yeah, that was a bit uh, like a crazy week. But then um, at the end, it stopped. But then I realized it's kind of hard to be influencer. You have so many opportunities, but at the same time, you have many people asking for being arrogant to you, asking for some service for free, some trying to get advantage of this. It's quite kind of difficult, a lot of pressure. Everyone talking to you at the same time is quite of hard to, to live that kind of life. So I'm happy I'm not a star <laughs> anymore. <laughs> nice. Thanks for sharing your story and for, for all three of you guys.